Okay, so welcome to a very short, well I say very short, it's about six minutes long, uh, demo of uh, the procedural weather systems in the Living Planets mod that I've been making for uh, years and I've recently started um, <clears throat> doing some work on. So what you can see here um, is a sphere uh, which is the area of influence of a weather system. Uh, the weather system's intensity you can see in red there is calculated um, by a mixture of things, mainly the air density, uh, the distance from the centre of the weather system um, and what texture the weather system is over. So if it's a snow system it needs to be over snow or ice, um, otherwise it won't display. Um, and the intensity ramps up um, in accordance with those variables going uh, up. So what you can see here is we've got some snow falling uh, and it's looking a little bit foggy. Um, we are at about 30%, 0.3 weather system intensity, uh, which means we've got some heavy snow falling as well as some light snow falling as well. Um, I've just moved closer um, to the epicenter um, and what we can see now is the snow has got heavier as we're up at 0.6%. Uh, 0.6 sorry so 60 percent intensity um, so now I've gone to the very center of the weather system it's getting a bit dark now on the planet um, where my character is so he's right at the center where this GPS coordinate is and this is at about 0.8 uh, intensity so very high um, because we're right at the center of the storm air density is about 70 percent because we're quite high up on the planet um, and that's a sort of a, a blizzard going at that stage. Um, what I'm just showing you here um, is that intensity is that uh, effect of air density on the intensity. So we we are very close in terms of we're pretty much straight up from near to the center of this storm. Um, but because we're higher up um, and that air density is around about 0.5, um, actually we've only got light snow falling at this altitude um, rather than the heavy snow which is going to be falling sort of further down the mountain. Uh, a couple of weird looking voxels up there. This is just a regular Earth-like planet by the way. Um, so yeah, uh, you can see yeah, <laughs> uh, light snow falling um, and as the air density goes down the intensity falls so obviously you don't get snow falling at the very top of the atmosphere and there's a really nice gradual fade out um, when, you, when you sort of leave the atmosphere and go into space. Okay, so this part of the demo is about a dynamic fog and particle lighting system that I created for realistic day and night effects. Um, you can see we are fairly close to the centre, well actually we're not, we're about 12 kilometres away from the centre. Intensity is about 0.3, it's just got dark, we've got a very uh, quick sun rotation on. Um, we can see yeah, we've got some fairly sort of mid heavy snow falling, we're at about 0.4 intensity um, and what you can see now is that it's, it's dark, um, there is some fog, very poor visibility because you are in, inside this weather system, uh, almost sort of horror film like in its, in its, um, uh, yeah, in its, in its effect when it's, when it's dark. Uh, this took me a long time to get this working right. So we can see the sun's rising now and what we'll see is the particles and the fog gradually gets brighter as the angle of the sun uh, changes according to where you are on the planet's surface. So this is all done dynamically. Um, it doesn't use Keane's particle system. Uh, I actually started creating this mod before that particle system even existed. Um, so this uses a different method of generating uh, particles and rendering particles. Um, and in order for everything to work correctly, I can't have the lighting engine do the lighting. I need to calculate the lighting myself and adjust color, color values and alpha saturations and such like. Um, so what you can see here is now we've got yeah some fog around, about half intensity of the weather system. Um, the fogging system, again, is not Keen's fogging system. It's a dynamic one that I've uh, created uh, because their system is fairly rudimentary. Um, uh, and doesn't allow for the kind of effects that I wanted to achieve. So now we can see it's getting dark again, uh, the fog's sort of closing in, getting darker, the snow particles are getting darker, um, and then we're back to night again and it feels like a horror game. Uh, yeah, so all the particles you can see, uh, that there is a minimal uh, impact on sim speed, 
uh, it does exist, there is some impact, but it is fairly minimal. Um, okay, so what we can see now, um, so I've sped up a weather system, they don't move this fast in reality. Uh, this one sped up something like 12 times, uh, so you can see it moving around the planet's surface. So it's glued to the planet's surface and it orbits the planet. Um, and what you're going to see now is that, w you look at that intensity in red, uh, that's ramping up as the weather system rolls over us. We've now got light snow. It's st continuing to roll over us. We've now got heavy snow, um, and that weather front is continuing to move over us. It's now decreasing as our distance from the epicenter of the storm decreases as it moves across the planet, and gradually the fog lessens, the snow lessens, and then it disappears when you're outside of the weather system. So that happens dynamically. Um, it's all calculated, yeah, as. Uh, uh, a multiple of you know all the different factors on the weather system um, <clears throat> as it moves around so uh, and this is just to show you that this isn't just a, a one-off um, you can have multiple dynamic weather systems they can be of different types so things like sandstorms rain uh, snowstorms just plain old fog um, sleet and anything in between really so they all move around the planet um, in, in a dynamic way. You can set different speeds, they have different starting points based on uh, what texture they need to match. So sandstorms obviously would only match uh, a desert, uh, so that would spawn in a place where, where it rolls around the planet, it would always come uh, into contact with a desert, otherwise it will never actually exhibit its effects. Same with snow, it will spawn somewhere where there's snow, uh, so its orbit around the planet will, will bring it into contact with snow to allow it to do its thing and present some weather um, so so yeah um, that is where I'm up to so far um, it's been a long road I think about four four years three four years that I've been working on this um, but I plan to actually finish it now um, so hopefully people are excited by what they see um, and I'll keep working on it um, and uh, give you some updates yeah when I've got some more to show okay